Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess or Jessica, whatever you want to call me. And today we're going to film a wash day routine, which is something that a couple of you have requested from me for a long time actually. So yeah, we're finally here doing my wash day routine. Let's get into it. My hair is in like an old braid out, so I'm going to have to take this out really quickly. Hi, okay. Can I talk to you like this? I can't talk to you like this. <laughs> Hold on. I haven't really done much to my hair in the last two weeks. I had it in twists and those flat twists at the front, like cornrows, but they're twists. I don't need to do this wash right now. I am somebody who, I know some people this is disgusting or whatever, but I really don't wash my hair a lot. I can do once a month easy, even less than that, especially since if my hair is in like a protective style or in braids or whatever, I don't really need to go in there with shampoo and condition and everything. So I really rarely do that. And I think that it's, it's good because our hair doesn't like, type four hair does not need to be washed and stripped of moisture and all of this all the time. Washing your hair once a week can be a bit excessive if you're in type four even. But of course your hair is on your head and you know how you like to handle it best. So that's just my opinion and what works for my hair. I don't like to wash it all the time. My wash day routine, when I do wash my hair, um, it's either with shampoo or with an ACV wash, which is apple cider vinegar. I started using this ACV wash a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago. So my hair is just really dry all the time. So whenever I used shampoo, like it was so hard to like brush it out and even conditioner and putting oil in afterwards and leaving conditioner just did not bring the moisture back. So I just, didn't like using shampoo ever. Then I came across this method of using the ACV wash, which still cleanses your hair, but it doesn't strip it of the moisture as much. When you make an ACV wash, I like to just put it in a spray bottle. Um, so there's not that much in there because I don't really need that much. You don't need that much. Um, I put maybe this much of the ACV and then it's like one part ACV and then two parts water. That's how I do it. Some other people do it differently, but you know, there's a lot of videos on YouTube explaining how ACV washes work and all of that. I just spray it in my hair and I leave it in for a bit and then I wash it out. You can replace this with shampoo or you can use this. When I do use shampoo, I use the Motions Active Moisture Lavish Shampoo. This is my favorite one. It's the Shea Butter Argan Oil and Coconut Oil type. When you're using a shampoo, I strongly advise you to use a shampoo that says that it it adds moisture because this, I don't feel like it strips my hair so much. So when I do really want to get in there and clean my hair, I use this shampoo. Usually it's after I've taken my braids out or if I've really not washed my hair um, with shampoo in, in time, around every three months, I'd actually really go in with this and like scrub it out. I'm just going to separate my hair into four sections. I have my first section here and you, one thing about ACV is the fact that it doesn't smell the best, um, I will tell you that. And you definitely want to wear something that you can put into the wash afterwards because if this gets onto your clothes, just know there's no coming back. There is no coming back. Ugh. And I start at the bottom and I let's work that in. And then I just use my fingers to kind of detangle my hair. Remember, if you have type 4 hair, you want to just really not use a lot of comb. Your fingers are your best friend. You can feel the knots. This is just me pre-detangling my hair for when I actually do detangle it when I put in the conditioner. You don't need to drench your hair, but you do want to get it kind of wet. And of course, if you're if you don't want to use an ACV wash, this step would just be using shampoo in the shower. If you are a type four hair girl, like you will see some like breakage. If the strands that are coming out are short, it means that it's breakage. But if it's the whole length of hair, it means it's fallout, which is normal. Nothing to worry about. But if you are getting like a lot of small pieces of hair, then that is breakage, which is not very good, but is quite common. You want to try and minimize that amount of breakage and moisture is really what helps minimize that. So here we go. I'm doing the same thing to the next section. I'm 
Okay. When you're washing your hair, right, you really don't want to go into the shower with all your hair out like this because so much of it is just going to get tangled with all the water going everywhere. I never really go into the shower and just have my hair out. I have it in sections all the time and I wash it in sections specifically because I'm able to like fight the knots and the tangles better and I, there's not as much breakage and all of that. So definitely never go into the shower with just just like this. You will just get a lot, a lot of tangles. So I have six parts right now and finally what I do, and this maybe took me half an hour, I don't know. I basically like to take it finally and just put some on the scalp as a final thing. Okay, just massage that in. And now, this plastic works the best. I don't know no other caps that work well. I don't know how to close it up. <laughs> I basically just bobby pinned the front. Vogue. <laughs> I'm probably gonna leave it on for 30, 45 minutes to an hour, depends. This is the part where you chill out. I think you can leave it on for as long as you want. Just don't leave it on the whole day, that's a bit like, you, you smell like apple cider vinegar. I'll check in with you later. I'm back. It's been like an hour, honestly. Go. I'ma go um, hop into the shower, wash this out, and then I'll be back again in like 20 minutes. So I'm back, I'm out of the shower still. So I basically just rinsed out the ACV. And right now, I'ma just put in some conditioner. Always, 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 always use conditioner. Always use conditioner, like it's so, so important to use. Ironically, I'm not even using conditioner, I'm using a hair mayo. Basically, let me explain, let me explain myself, okay? So I needed um, conditioner because I was running out of my regular one that I've been using. With Corona and everything, I think we're just not getting imports in Uganda. So I just couldn't find any like conditioner that I wanted to buy. So I checked in like four stores and I couldn't find anything. So then I found this thing. It's olive oil, hair mayo um, with oat protein, cholesterol, and botanicals. The products that you use, honestly, they can make a difference, but they're not, you shouldn't put so much faith into the products that you use. Really, really expensive products aren't gonna make your hair really, really healthy. Yeah, sometimes they do, but honestly, if you just get like something that keeps moisture in your hair, like you're good, you're good, you feel me? So one of the worst sensations ever, and if you're a guy, you will not really understand this, is going in the shower, coming out of the shower, and then having to go back into a shower. Like, I hate it. Up until this point, no brush or comb or whatever has been used. This is the first time that I am gonna use a comb on my hair so it's really far down the line you shouldn't start out like combing your hair like every three seconds remember combing your hair leads to breakage which leads to no growth I'm seeing a lot of growth it's like there which is <laughs> kind of long still so I start always at the base and of course, if you don't have a hair mayo, just use a conditioner. Like, this is what I found and this is what I have right now. So... You definitely want to saturate your strands um, with product, but you don't want it to be like overflowing with product. Sometimes I see people in videos like putting the product on and like it's so much product. I'm like, girl, I don't have the money to be wasting my products like that. You feel me to just like slap on so much. So instead, just get a bit, you know, like let it touch all your hair strands, but don't go overboard. Don't like, I don't know, s let your hair swim in it. Nah, you don't want that. So I start at the bottom, wide tooth comb, and just work my way up. And this section is a bit large to brush, so I'ma just wrap this up here. Ugh. I hate brushing. I am extremely tender-headed. I've always been extremely tender-headed. I will probably always be extremely tender-headed. Yeah, this is kind of painful for me. I wanna massage that in, especially into your ends because your ends are the oldest, driest part of your hair. I can feel that my, my comb is not gonna go through there. So I'm gonna use my fingers to just, it's not like small tangles, it's like a big tangle. So, I'ma just run my thumb through it a couple of times. That's better. Yep. <sighs> of 
quite obviously I'm back. Um, I just had lunch. I've been doing this for three hours maybe. And we're gonna go back into the shower. Even though I'm warm and clean right now, I have to go and wash this out. Ah, okay. We're in my bathroom, I'm wearing my swimsuit, and I'm about to wash this out. This is so extra. I have my curtains open. If somebody like walks by, just, you know what? I have a mirror right here. I'm literally just rinsing it with water, quite like self-explanatory. I don't even know why I brought a camera. <laughs> but here we are. I highly recommend getting a mirror that you can like stick to your wall, that you can actually see what you're doing. Like this is one of the most amazing things ever and I get to have conversations with myself in the bathroom. Like this is the best. Literally, it's so great. I'm back out of the shower. At this point in my day, I am tired of being wet, of being cold, and of doing my hair. Um, it's been about maybe three, four hours that I've been working on my hair and I just wanna be done. I just wanna be done with my hair. So the next couple of steps that, hello? What's up, can you chill? I'm just gonna put in some leave-in conditioner and some hair oil and that will be it. I'm gonna probably do something with my hair. I never let my hair dry in an afro, that never happens. I'm either gonna put it into twists or do some type of style, but I'm not gonna record that because that's not the point of this video. The point of this video was the wash routine. And you guys got what you wanted. This is the wash routine. Um, and no, I do not do this all the time. I can, this is like me every other month. I, guys, ugh. It's so much effort, like, nah. I'm gonna just go put in this leave-in conditioner and this oil. I'm gonna do it off camera and you guys will see me when I've done whatever to my hair that I'm gonna do. I don't know yet, I just have to think about it. So, see you then. Okay, hi guys, it's the next day. I told you that I'd show you what I came up with, so I just kind of um, did some flat twists. They're not really cornrows. I have to reopen these two because um, they're just too big and they're just kind of chunky and they don't really look good. It's a couple of hours later, I redid um, these two and made three out of them. And um, yeah, so this is the final look that I'm gonna have for the next um, week or so. Bye. Just a side note, today is my mom's birthday. It's the 9th of July when I'm filming this. I don't know when I'm gonna upload this, but still, it's my mom's birthday. I love you, mom. I hope you had an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, night, evening, or morning, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye.